So there's this librarian named, I, I don't know, uh, Mara. Anyway, so Mara, she works at the local library. And one day she was in the back room building a fort out of books, as librarians do, I assume. And she came across this weird bookshelf that she had never seen before, which is weird because she is the librarian there and she should know all the bookshelves. So she used her librarian ladder to get up to the bookshelf to see what was on there. And it turned out to be a portal to another library that was exactly like hers, only abandoned. And curiosity got the better of her, so she entered because, I mean, look, who wouldn't go in? You don't know what's in there. There could be circle windows or candy. Because nothing bad ever happens when you enter a strange portal, especially in Hollywood. I mean, just think of Coraline. <laughs> Wait, no. Ooh, uh, Alice in Wonderland, sort of. Okay, maybe not. Not really. Okay, so maybe no movies come to mind. But it probably happened. Anyway, so back to the story. Mara enters the abandoned library portal. It's full of all the books that people have forgotten. Lost literature? Is that a thing? Ooh, maybe it's called the Lost Library. And if you're lucky, you can find a portal in every library to the Lost Library. But you have to be careful because the ghosts of the forgotten authors are usually there. And if they catch you, the only way to get away is to read all their books because then they won't be forgotten authors anymore. Thus, they won't exist in the forgotten library. And that could take forever. Especially because there's no food or water in the Lost Library and you would die of starvation and thirst before you could read all the books. Anyways, Mara was never heard from again. The end. What do you guys think? Okay, I feel like the story could use some help, but what did you think of the art? Are you disturbed that I destroyed a book?